glad you joined me again this week for our next adventure in Upside Downtown. But before we get into our lesson, let's all stand to our feet and do our Wiggles dance. Shake it out Shake it out You know the world has turned upside down Now the sky has become the ground Yeah, the world has turned upside down No one knows how to flip it around So what are we gonna do? We're gonna move it We're gonna groove it We're gonna Shake it out. and I am the first person who God ever created. I want to tell you a story about my family. When God first made me, I was the only person in the entire world. I was taking care of a beautiful garden that God made. I watched over all the plants, trees, flowers, and animals in the garden. And I even gave them all names. That was a lot of fun. But something was not right. I was still all by myself. So, one day, God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper who is just right for him. God knew that it was not good for me to be all by myself. So, he decided to create another person to help me. God caused me to fall into a deep sleep. Kids, can you stretch your arms out and yawn like you are really tired? Yes! Let's do that on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Great job, everybody. God caused me to fall into a deep sleep, and then he took a rib from my body and made another person out of it. God made a woman named Eve who would become my wife and my helper. I was not alone anymore. God gave me a family. Eve and I would add to our family. God gave us two sons named Cain and Abel. And later, he gave us another son named Seth. God saw that it was not good for me to be alone, so he gave me my family. Boys and girls, just like God gave me my family, God gave you your family, too. Because God gives us our families, they are very important. They love us, take care of us, and help us when we need it. And we should love them, help take care of them, and help them when they need it. 
Your family is a gift from God. He gave them to you. Well, thanks for listening to my story, boys and girls. Goodbye. God saw that it was not good for Adam to be alone, so he gave Adam his family. Boys and girls, just like God gave Adam his family, God gave you your family too. Because God gives us our family, they are very important. They love us, take care of us, and help us when we need it. Your family is a gift from God. He gave them to you. Let's see our main point again. Ready? God gave me my family. Great job, kids. Now, it's important that we thank God for our families. And the way we can do that is by telling our families that we are thankful for them. We can say something like, thank you for being part of my family. You can also show your family that you're thankful for them by giving them a helping hand when they need it. Isn't it great that God gave us families? Remember to thank Him for giving your family. Let's say what we learned today one more time to make sure we remember it. We'll say it on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. God gave me 